Hey crafters, today I'm going to make a dog shirt with Cricut's new rainbow reflective iron-on. Let's jump right in. This is what the iron-on looks like in the tube. It does not look very reflective right now in the tube, almost black. Um, let's open it up to see it a little better. Now, I can see a little bit of that reflective property to it. Uh, still not all that bright, but let's make a project and see how it looks. I have this gray dog shirt that I picked up. This is not a smart material, this iron-on, so we will be needing a cutting mat. The first thing I do is measure my shirt and figure out how big I want the design. Over in Design Space, I have my design here. I found it right in images. All I had to do is resize it um, according to what I just measured. The next thing I wanna do is select all of the words and the images with the paw prints and bone and attach it all together. Then we'll hit Make It. Again, not a smart material, so we will be cutting it on a mat. And it is iron-on, so we do want to mirror it. We'll hit continue. All right, we'll browse all materials. And I'm going to search for reflective. Select this and done. I'm going to take the protective sheet off of my cutting mat. There is a shiny side and a dull side to this iron-on, so we wanna put this side down, the shiny side down. And we're just gonna place it right on the cutting mat and get rid of as many little bubbles as we can. And then we'll cut. Best way to take material off a mat is to flip it over and pull the mat away from the material. I'm gonna cut right around my design and weed. All right, and there is our design, still looking kinda black. Um, so let's get it on a shirt and we'll see how it works. I have my auto press set to 330 degrees for uh, 30 seconds. Here's my shirt. And I'm gonna give it a quick preheat for about five seconds or so. And then I'm gonna place my design. Once I have it where I want it, making sure nice and even, I'm gonna lower my auto press. The great thing about the auto press is as soon as it's done, it lifts up automatically. We're gonna give it some time to cool and then all we have to do is peel back the protective sheet here. I can't believe how awesome and reflective this is. Even under just some regular room lights, it looks awesome. And here it is under some bright light. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out craftycorner.com for all of Cricut's new products. Leave us a comment if you have any questions and hit that like and subscribe button so that you do not miss out on all of our Cricut tips and tutorials.